Aloha and welcome back. I'm Fade Panther and this is Live a Live. And trust me, I was I was so tempted to make the title of this how the title of the game presents itself. But I know the search results would be fucked up if I did that. Um, what do I have? Beast horn. I mean, I kind of already made that. Excuse me. Oh. Mm. Cool. Uh, I thought it was going to make something like that made logical sense, but whatever. Oh, that's a cool little look. I know which one it is, but I can't touch it. Yeah, I, I get it. I, I understand. Yeah, I, I get it. Fine. Basically, could she? <laughs> she sounds like Peach. Mm -hmm. 
Whoa. Poke it with a stick. <sighs> I'm gonna need a new controller at some point. Uh, well, that's a shitty way to change party members. Okay, she just can't have the... that equipment. Alright. I kind of hate how she stands. I know it sounds weird, but the way her feet are facing, they're pointed in. And while that quote-unquote might sound cute, that's actually horrific for your posture. I, I have the unfortunate uh, downside of my feet point straight, and it makes standing still very wobbly. Like, she wouldn't be standing still with feet like that. She would be constantly correcting herself. Oh, okay, cool. Just added her to the party, not got rid of him for her. Still a really cool effect. Basically, can't go that way. I, I've always hated the concept that, oh, cavemen are really stupid, so simple stuff like this would get by them. It's like, no. Simple stuff like that would not get by them. They still made traps. They still understood the concept of hiding something behind something else. If there is a moving bush around, they're going to immediately go, wait, that's not right. I guess it was, uh, I guess the concept behind the, uh, cavemen dumb is kind of a power fantasy in and of itself if you think about it. 
because big brawly guy, it's easy to outsmart him. So generally when you have the smart character going against the dumb character, they're always like outwitted in a way that it's like, oh, it makes this the dumb guy look really dumb. Because you want to be the better of the two, and you can't be strong, so you be smart. When the reality is that, especially in a case like this, if it was moving, if she was moving around, even if she wasn't, if this kid who is just now starting to uh, train his nose could find her, then the rest of the fucking tribe should have been able to immediately. So, the two sides of the coin. Giving up his bet. That's good. That that's cool. Um. Okay, three sides of the coin at this jump. Giving up his bet. That's fine. That's cool. She doesn't have one. Uh. Kicking his friend out of his bed. It's like, well, then just fucking kick him out of that bed and then pushing the two beds closer oh then again that that last part that last part is a a social thing today whereas back in that at, at that time it's like hey i like you a lot i would like you to sleep next to me that's a okay cool but the first two are, are on different sides of the coin. Like, I don't care if, what social sides of it. You've got a friend. You don't kick the friend out just to have the, the mate. <laughs> so either the monkey kicked her out... <laughs> Or she got cold and found it easier to sleep under the hay. Or brush. <laughs> or she got scared and moved the brush to the side because of the fact that, yeah, she had eaten a lot of their food. I kind of like this uh, style of uh, RPG storytelling, where you're having to piece a lot of the things together, mm -hmm. but the story still plays out as those characters understand mm -hmm. each other. They have body language. You mm -hmm. don't. But hormones are hormones, no matter which era you're looking at. Get up, you frickin' monkey. I find his eyebrows distressing. Huh. Um, actually kind of curious if she can join the party again. Oh, okay. Gotta feed her. Awesome. be no food here. Except for this thing.
Oh, hi, you're new. me wonder something. I completely glossed over what I... Yeah, punch of me. Got it? Alright, awesome. That's all I wanted. going to start the <laughs> conflict. Yep, this is starting the conflict. Got it. I will say the idea of a pretty boy caveman is weird. I've been running on an auto save, so let's go ahead and make a manual save here. Just in case this turns into a dumb idea. 
I mean, there's a couple of things that you'd have to have to realize would be socially different. Example, why keep any of them alive? Like, if they're part of a different tribe, they're competing for the same food source. Um, then either make them join your tribe, or just fucking kill them. Moralities of, like, keeping people alive don't matter as much when your life is also a lot. It's socially different than it is nowadays, where there are other solutions to the problem. How is it these other guys lost? I guess the the stone cars are a lot more powerful, giving them the advantage. Uh, I mean, that's a way to look at it, but then after that, if this kid decimated the fuck out of them, the other fucking warriors should have been able to easily deal with them. It's the downside of how... Um, RPG mechanics change things. I do like that there's no mana so far. And before anybody jumps on and going, well, that's the par uh, power of, like, love and fuck off. I'm sorry, the, the amount of strength you get from, like, wanting to protect a loved one is immense. Don't get me wrong, but it also is detrimental. Pushing your body past what it could do is a problem for your body. There is no question of this factor. So now, is this guy so immensely strong? Alright. Wow. He is. 
sort of. She has to get close. <laughs> Wait, what? He was a little lizard inside the body? The fuck? <laughs> oh no! Oh no, it's way worse. The lizard's is underwear. What the fuck? <laughs> also, let's be real. A tribe of full guys, and there's a female? There is no way she's getting banished. <laughs> The kid, possibly. But the, the female, absolutely not. Social differences. They rebuilt that fast. Oh, hi! Oh, cool, I like that. <laughs> Holy fuck. Alright. Okay, they're resistant to that.
and the poison, so just just bash him. Now the battles are actually becoming battles. I didn't see what skill he got. Sleep trick. Tack, make one bed a uh, bad go sleep with wave club. Okay. level changes a lot, doesn't it? So the striped one is actually just weaker, or uh, is stronger than the other one. Even if it doesn't heal, it boosts damage. There's some big dudes, aren't they? I do like that she's not actually a good singer.
She is gonna drive me nuts with that singing. I mean, if you want to stay all the way over there and do ranged attacks, fuck you. That's weird. Oh, that would be why it's weird. This is bad. This is very bad. Super bad. That sucks. Right there. Get rid of the little calf, because I know it's going to cause me issues. I know it's also probably going to piss off the parents. Ow! that song, but at the same time, I don't have a choice. Now fucking hit him! <laughs> the status effect is gone, why can't you hit him?
Holy crap, that was not a fun fight. <laughs> we jump. <laughs> Stink poot, okay. <laughs> Nothing. Alright. Um, hit one big, uh, one bad with big jump bash. Medium ally attributes. Okay, so it's a projectile, grappling, wind, spirit, agility, and blunt. It's a poop throw, wind. Biru is her name. Okay. Oh, the mini map shows it. Okay. Being out at night is a bad thing. It's a very bad thing in most cases because um, our sense of smell is not. It is good, don't get me wrong, but it's not better than the other creatures of the wild. They can see better than us at night, and a good uh, majority of staying alive is, you know, staying out of the uh, danger. It becomes really, really bad when you can't see. Yum bite. Cool. <laughs> Thing hurt. Cool. Um, yum bite. Oh, 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 that's gonna be useful. It's a thrusting attack. A divine attack with good sing hits ten times 
the fuck? Alright, um, we're gonna save here. Um, I will catch you all in the next episode. Until then, have fun, be safe, and aloha!